And that means, am I like a total hip, hip ski whisker? <laughs> <laughs> hip <-y> whisker. <laughs> hip whisker. A whisky hip star. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe! subscribe. We're trying some Springbank today. Oh. So I love a Springbank and you've never been that fussed for it. I, yeah, I don't. Well, I don't think it's bad. I just don't understand why folk are queuing outside at like six in the morning. Uh, me neither. No. Me neither. No. I mean, I love this whiskey, but I wouldn't be doing that. People no. camp overnight to get it. But I suppose as well, if, if I was going to camp outside for a whiskey, then it wouldn't be the one that I was camp outside for. Yeah, I suppose. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think I'd camp outside for any whiskey because there's was, plenty other whiskeys. But on one of them, it would be on your list if you have to camp out for a whiskey. The once, 15 year old. Yeah, in one scenario where you'd have to camp yeah, out yeah, yeah. in spring. Yeah, it might you had be one to pick you'd consider. One. Yeah, it'd be one I would I'd consider. I'd maybe consider yeah. Glen Scotia. I wouldn't queue for it. I mean, I wouldn't queue for anything though. I would barely queue if my life depended on it. Not so. at that time. Well, you particularly don't like <laughs> no. queuing, as I understand. <laughs> really not. There might be some things I'd queue for, but I don't, I can't, I can't imagine something like that at six in the morning. I don't think so. I wouldn't queue for spring bags, but I do like it. No, and I think that's what we've said a few times, I suppose, that. I think a lot of the folk queue and our folk who are selling it as who are going to make money it. on it or people who are just absolutely they love it and they have it like up here yeah. as their like yeah. ultimate dram or folk who love collecting it and aren't mm -hmm. actually selling it straight away but they're trying to collect them yeah. all like Pokemon mm -hmm. um, it's not Pokemon it's whiskey let it in the wild yeah 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 but the 15 know. year old I really like the 15 is amazing but the 10 year old is lovely as well. I've Every time before I've had the option of getting the 10 or the 15, which is unusual now, you don't get a choice. No. Nope. Uh, I've always gone for the cheaper option of the 10 and thought mm. I'll get the 15 next time. And the 10 is lovely, but the 15 is just like so much better for the money. Mm. So, so, bourbon and sherry is it? Yeah, bourbon and sherry, um, 10 years. And then we're gonna compare it with uh, one from Eddie. Um, Eddie, thank you, Eddie. Thank Legend. you. Uh, one from the cage, a cage bottle. Uh, first fill sherry, nine year old. It's strong that one as well. It's like sixty point something, isn't 60. it? Sixty point one. <clears throat> so the oh, the, the ten is forty six. I would prefer the smell of the sherry one already, though. That's very me. Oh my god, that smells like old warehouse floor. Oh, that smells lovely. That one, it's called the farmy funk. I don't want to in spring bank. It does. See, I like that immediately. Oh, I don't. I, it reminds me of a farm. I don't. Oh, really farmy, actually. Really I just farmy. got that really quite strongly there. Maybe you're going to successfully put me off spring bank. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I still like it. It's got like a really rich caramelly bit as well. Um, all I'm getting is farm. Try and find the caramel. It's a lovely, lovely, like smooth caramel bit underneath the farm. Would you like a smooth caramel if it had been underneath a farm? <laughs> Look, I'll, just take a, I'll take a I'll take caramel for somebody else, thanks. I know it would have wee bits and gray yeah. bits in it. <laughs> I get it, I get it. It's a bit mm. sweeter when you the more you smell. That one smells really good. That one does smell like an old warehouse, but I feel oh. like though that could be almost any whiskey at the moment. Yeah, yeah, It could yeah, be true. almost That's... any heavily sherried whiskey. Yeah. Whereas oh, this is like so good. This could only be one of a few. I feel like the sherry cast, the first full sherry cast, tames the the farmy. Tames the farmy. Yep. So mm -hmm. I can tolerate it a bit more. Hmm. Slange. Slange. Hmm. No, no, no. Oh, mm, it just keeps going. Oh, I get the peat smoke at the end as well. Mm -mm. So Springbank is two and a half times distilled. Yep. Much more complicated than that with yep. diagrams and all sorts. It's like 2.8 something times distilled. And it's lightly peated. We, we do. do we, I will put the picture in. I can find it, put the picture in here. Um, but I'm really, I really like that. Straight away it's like, I feel like I'm there. It's got an aftertaste that's just like... Blah, blah, blah. It's got an aftertaste of like a burnt out fire. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, I like it. Which is weird. You'd think it'd be mm. the opposite, I don't... Mmm. 
Oh, I just love it. It's got so much going on. Do you know though, I can't think about, like I love it, but I can't think what I would describe to somebody to say why I loved it so much. It's got such a strange flavour, it's so weird. I think that's what I like about it. It's got lots going on, it's got lots to think about. It's got a weird little astringency that I it like. Does. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, it's like a little, it's like, it's almost like, like how I used to smell whiskey when I was wee. Like the smell of whiskey when there'd be like a family do and all the men usually would just be drinking whiskey and the smell would be about and it was probably like cheap. Yeah. Maybe not very good quality whiskey. It's that smell that reminds me of like a family do when I was wee. That's the smell some people describe that they don't like whiskey with as well. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. It reminds me of a cold cement wall, brick wall, but grey bricks mm -hmm. that's partly painted white but it's been chipped away. I know exactly what you mean. The cold wall. It's a cold wall. It's a cold wall. I don't like a cold wall. I like a velvety Possibly a, velvety chair. a cold wall and you're doing PE. Yeah, I hate on it. On a frosty morning. Dogging. <laughs> yeah. I think spring bank's just not for you. And that means, am I like a total hit? Hipsky whisker. <laughs> <laughs> Hippy whisker. Hippy whisker. A whiskey hipster. <laughs> uh, like, I'm too cool to like spring bank. Mm, I think if you were like really shade, cool, yeah. you'd be like me because I liked spring bank before it was cool. Oh, of course. Of course <laughs> no, of course, I didn't. Of course. <laughs> uh, you know, That's what a hipster is, isn't it? They like it before it was before cool. Before it was cool, yeah. Like, I like that before it was cool. But like, so I'd need to find the next cool thing. And like it now. Yeah. Billy Walker. I mean, I, I don't know if he's the next cool thing or if he was a few cool things ago. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Billy. <laughs> I'll tea no shade, Billy. Um, Should we put a bit of water in it? We could, we could. We have water. Yes, Aye. sorry, I've been hoarding the water this That's whole fine. time. That's fine. We didn't really need the other ones in the no, water, don't they? No, they didn't. This one's not really needing it, but just to see if it makes it any See if it makes a, a difference. Any I difference. feel it'll bring the farminess out more. We'll probably need the, 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 the whiskey. We'll need the whiskey for the next one. <laughs> Pipette. We'll need the right. water for the next one. More farmy. Watery farm. I like it, it's like the far, the farm's been warmed up. <laughs> I think that smells like um pencil lead now. Like when your pencil lead breaks, that dust that comes off. Mmm. It tastes a bit sweeter, but altogether like mm. I'm not more farmy. Not mega bothered for it to be honest. Mm. I've tried some we've tried some other spring banks like local barley spring bank I've had and some other ones that I've absolutely loved and Kilcadens mm. really like. That the local barley from two years ago that I really liked mm. was super mega sherry it could have been anything but it was lovely because it was really sherry. That's one I liked. I mm -hmm. yeah. This year's one meh. No it wasn't anything it's all right. home about. No but it wasn't spring banky enough either. No. So yeah. But this one here the cage bottle Oh, that smells so much better. Oh, old library books. Yeah, six and a big as well. leather chair. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. By I, a fire. I am um, with caramel. Eating one of those things. What are those things? It's like hard caramel and chocolate. A fluorotine. No. Yep. Do you know a what fl fl Florentine. Yeah, that's Italian. Yes. Yeah, Spanish. Yeah, yeah, Spanish. I mean French. <laughs> we'll just go through all the nationalities <laughs> until we get we there. We. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, because it's got caramel, chocolate, and wee bits of dried fruit. Mhm. Mm oh, I really like that. I can't smell any peat. I can a wee bit, like an ashy. Oh, it's strong. An ashy fire. But it's nice. It's tingling my nose. Oh, I had something else there, and it's gone now. Mm, wee bit of peat, maybe. A wee bit refreshery as well. It's got a wee, a wee fizz to it. Mhm. Mm an effervescence. Mm. Slange. Mmm. I'm not Ooh. sure. Mmm, I'm not sure either. It tastes like I've licked the warehouse floor. Yeah, I liked it at the beginning and then it gets really dry. Mmm, it's really dry. Like an earthen floor. <laughs> like your tongue's got caught <laughs> on the floor. That, that would be a, an SMWS. 
bottling your tongues got caught on an earthen floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got quite a bitter finish as well. It does. Should we try some water? I feel like water will make that one a lot better because that is really strong, that one. Dark chocolate cherries. Oh my goodness, yes. A bit dusty. Dusty. They've been rolling around in the warehouse floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not getting that pipette back in that glass. It's <laughs> the whole which way. <laughs> you couldn't find the whole. No. <laughs> Of the top of the glass, which is large. It's a chunky glass, though. So. <laughs> it's behind a box. I wasn't looking It's true. Right. It's behind a box and a wooden pillar. Yeah. Wooden pillar. That makes us room sound a lot grander <laughs> than this. <laughs> it's a stick. It's basically a stick. <laughs> That's a wee bit more floral. I'm not enjoying it. I'm not enjoying it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now it's I'm on the floor. Of the warehouse. Bitter, bitter, bitter. It is, it's like a cask burst and then totally dried up and there's all these little wood shavings bitter. about and you've licked it. Yeah, and it's charcoal, it's been burnt into yeah, the cask and yeah. burnt. Yeah, really, really. Mmm. It's like really, really dark chocolate that's really bitter. Cocoa nibs that have no sugar in. Have you ever tried them? They're like, oh, oh. I don't rate that at all. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm I quite just, I'm, like it. I'm, everything's tasting very bitter to me in this tasting session, and that is just already quite bitter, I find. I think that would. I think you should take that away and try that because I think maybe a nighttime dram of that you might quite like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling really bad that I'm probably... Uh, well, I'll try that another time and it'll be probably mm. nicer. Or worse. I, quite, I think I'd quite like to sit with that for a long time by a fire and keep tasting it. You'd have to to get it down. <laughs> <laughs> but you've managed. <laughs> tasting, tasting, tasting. Mm. No, I could see how some people would love that. It's a bit too bitter for it's me. It's really tannic. Really tannic. Really tannic. Really tannic. Which That's probably one of the most tannic whiskies I've ever had. Very drying. Mm. I quite um, like it though. It's lost the farminess. There's no farmy bit. Yes, yes. But it's all like licking an earthen floor. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't. Maybe I should try licking an earthen floor. If you do, you should film it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs> TBC, I know you're going to Kintyre, aren't you? Yeah, so no, you could I could lick an earthen floor lick from there. Lick their floor. Mm. I like your floor, please. <laughs> One sure sponges to lick your floor. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> subscribe here to watch more like this. Um, and join us again next time. Slange! Slange. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. I was waiting for you. Sorry. Sorry. Where did I go? Where did I go? I don't know. <laughs>